I'm hoping that today my dad experiences what it's like to really stand in the spotlight. It's certainly not my thing. I am not a spotlight kind of guy. Hi, I am Bob the Drag Queen, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 8. Here on Drag My Dad, we take your typical macho, goofy dad and help them transform into the ultimate drag fantasy. <laughs> while helping bring families together along the way. I just want to let you know that all the moments that you've been there, I really noticed you the whole time. I love you, Pops. Now, drag isn't just about glam. It's about allowing people to open up in a way they never have before. This is Drag My Dad. Are you excited for our duo today? I am, I am. Who do we have? Dan and Sam. Sam and Dan. So Dan and Sam are both straight, but no one's perfect. Sam is an actor, and I think his dad is doing this to see what it's like to be in the limelight. I think that Sam's like, I really want my dad to know what it's like to be the center of attention because I don't think Dan has a desire to be like seen by everyone. Be every a star. Yeah. Dad, yeah. When I'm on stage or in front of camera, there's a sense of accomplishment. Sam has always just been enamored with the theater. My dad was always 100% behind me, but my dad's always kind of in the background. He doesn't want the attention. It's certainly not my thing. I am not a spotlight kind of guy. I'm hoping that today my dad experiences what it's like to receive all of the support, the love, and the hardcore embarrassment that comes with people looking at you. Yikes. I'm feeling really nervous about this. Several people are coming tonight. For the first time ever, my girlfriend is coming to meet my parents. So the very first time I'm going to meet her is tonight at the reveal in drag. That should be interesting. I'm gonna go get the guys and you just kind of hang out. I am your servant. Hi, welcome. How you doing? Are we nice hugging? To yeah, we can hug. Nice to if see you're you. comfortable with well, hugs. You're really tall. I'm a big lady. How are you? I'm Bob the Drag Queen. Have you ever done anything like this before? He has definitely never done anything like this. Not even once. At first, I was unaware of what this show was. I thought it was just a makeover show. When I first told my dad that he had to get in drag, he said, wait, what? So I'll give you a basic rundown of how it's gonna work. I'm gonna take you in, we're gonna have a discussion with our makeup consultant, and then we're gonna have a discussion with a style consultant, we're gonna customize some items for your drag, and then we're gonna have a big reveal where we show you off to friends and family. Okay. We have company. All right, I'm ready. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. It's like a drag queen exploded. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like that wig. Oh, you know what? You like this wig, it's yours. It can be your comfort blanket as we... Do you uh, <laughs> feel like I'm stealing your spotlight here? <laughs> Not a bit. Knock yourself out, yeah. Beth. Sam, I, I don't know how he came from my wife and I because he is so far out of our gene pool. It's just crazy. Let me introduce you all. This is Iris Spector, a very talented designer, makeup artist. Pleasure to meet both of you. You excited for today? Yeah. I am excited. I am excited. excited. What kind of look do you want to see for Dan today? Well, he is, as you can tell by his uh, wardrobe, he's not the most flashy individual. You are a visual representation of someone's dad. Dan kind of dresses in neutral tones, a sweater over a shirt. Maybe he gets really jazzy when he uh, wears an argyle sock. That's the kind of man Dan is. But for uh, his drag personality, I think we should go in the exact opposite direction. Mm. Make him glamorous, glitzy, gregarious. We should work it into your name. How about wait until dark Dan? <laughs> we're gonna work on this. <laughs> Someone is a wordsmith. Well, listen, um, we're going to have a little bit of chat with Dan about his aesthetic. I'll take this back. Thank you. You can have that back. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. All right, so let's get cracking, shall we? All right. Go ahead All and right. take these off for me. All righty. The look we're going for today is Neon Pageant Queen. Bright, bold colors with contrasting black, but also the majesty of, like, flow and elegance. Sam, was he in, like, theater growing up? Yeah, he got interested around five or six years old. Oh, wow. Um, he was hooked. Every school play, he was in it. And you went to all of them? <laughs> <laughs> Multiple times. What do you think about your son's desire to be in the spotlight? Like, do you relate to that at all? <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the... Probably the big disconnect that I don't get with Sam mm -hmm. is what attracts him to this very precarious lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is so confused by the idea of wanting to be an actor that he calls it a lifestyle. I was like, did your son join the circus? 
I think that we're gonna go for a lot of glitz and glam for tonight. You know what I mean? I want you to be like shining like a disco ball, <laughs> you know, right in that spotlight. This is way outside my comfort zone. Way outside my comfort zone. We want to spend this day lifting you up. Lifting me up about three and a half inches, right? Three and a half, six inches off the ground, ah! Mary. At least. Three and a half. At nice least. try, Dan. Nice try. OK, Sam. Hey, Bob. Um, I just want to let you know that we're going to be doing some corset work today. Kinky. So we're going to take this corset and uh, squeeze it around your dad's midsection and make it into a nice feminine shape. It's kind of like tying a shoe, almost. So three from the top, three from the bottom, and then right when you get to the middle. Yeah, these two. You're going to stop, OK? And go ahead and finish up this course. Just tie off the end there. Is your dad one of your heroes? Oh, absolutely. He's my hero. Yeah. He taught me that sacrifice and Selflessness is probably the best way to conduct yourself in any situation. He's the kind of person growing up, he would cook us dinner and like sit with us and talk about our days while we ate. Mm -hmm. And then when we went to go back to do our homework, he would cook himself dinner. Like the kind of person who everyone else comes first. If there's one thing you want to express to your dad today, what is it? That all those times that he wasn't the loudest voice in the room, I still heard him and appreciated him. Oh, wow. It is really admirable how much Sam looks up to his father. So tonight is big. Tonight my parents are meeting my girlfriend. Like, for the first time for ever? For the first time ever. Wow, yeah, it's Nini. Be fun. Listen, this is actually more pressure for the girlfriend than it is for the dad. It's like, this is a story you tell at your wedding. It's like, no pressure, but if you don't get married, you've ruined this family. I'm more nervous about that than I am about my dad's boobs. <laughs> well, your dad's boobs are in good hands. Sam, Hi, we are so excited because we now have your dad in most of his face, but it's enough that we think is going to still stun you. Right on. So are you ready to see? No, but let's go. <laughs> All right. Dan, come on out. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> I thought I was prepared before the show to see my dad in makeup, but I just cannot handle what he actually looks like. The instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I am very excited because we are actually going to introduce you to working the runaway in a pair of heels. What? So I'm going to go ahead and hand you these. OK. Um, but we are not going to let you get off that easy. Booyah! We have a surprise for you as well. A golden. I thought I was safe. Oh, man. no. A golden pair of boats. I just don't get why folks are so scared of hills, because once you get on those hills, you'll be like a gazelle leaping through the Serengeti. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a demonstration. All right, music. Five, six, seven, eight. Hands in the hips, feeling the fantasy. You feel the sway of your hips. I always do like a wide-legged look around, trying to like let the room know you're the one in control. Look back at them and then go for a little walk. I've always thought that I'd be good at high heels. I'm pretty confident that I'm going to absolutely crush this. I'll count you in. And five, six, seven, eight. Walking, walking, stopping, and walking. It's a little too much crossing. So whoa. High heels hurt. Five, six, seven, eight. Walk, Shantae. More of a tiptoe with it. She's sneaking. She's sneaking into your hearts. Imagine you're a 60-year-old infant learning to walk for the first time. And that's a pretty accurate description of what it feels like to be walking around in high heels. <laughs> when my dad walks in heels, he looks like a goblin. I learned this today. I'm going to go and grab our designer so we can take a look at your garment and we can get things popping. All right, here we go. All right. So we take the shoes off? Yeah. Oof. Well, certainly my admiration for what you do has gone up dramatically because this being out front isn't something I would normally choose to do. And the fact that you enjoy it, pretty impressive. After how crazy today has been, I'm not surprised that my dad is getting a little bit emotional, but I love him for that. I just want to let you know that, you know, 
All the moments that you've been there throughout my life for me, I really noticed you the whole time, even when you're trying your hardest not to be noticed and when you're blending into the background because that's what everybody needs from you. I just want to let you know that I'm here for you too and that I just, I love you, Pops. Thanks, bud. All right, I found someone. I would like to introduce you all to Brooklyn-based designer Pinwheel. Pinwheel, who made your outfit. Yay! Hello, Pinwheel. All righty. Uh, that's pretty elaborate. Looks like a <laughs> space princess. So today you're going to be wearing a gown that would win you a pageant and make you the star of any nightclub. They'll look at you and they won't just call you queen. They'll call you your majesty. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Listen, you got a lot to do. You got lips, you got lashes, you're not wearing any hair. You can't go out here dressed like it's casual Friday. You got to put him in that, and you got to go, like, get your girlfriend. Today, I think Dan will finally be the one standing when everyone else is surrounding, looking at him, and I think that he will understand his son's perspective on performing a little better. The butterflies in my stomach are off the chain right now. I'm starting to feel nervous about the reveal. My girlfriend meeting my dad in drag for the first time. <laughs> Holy That's it, honey. Yes! Oh, please. You're embarrassing me. You're embarrassing me. Stop. Now, we have spent our entire day with a man you may know as Dan. Oh, but Dan has left the building. We have a mean green queen tearing up the flavor machine. Put your hands together for Miss Margarita Pizza. <laughs> out, it's truly the most mind-boggling thing I've ever seen. My dad right now looks confident, surprisingly glamorous, and like he's on top of the world. Where did my husband go? I know. When they first showed me, I was kind of looking, where's Dan? <laughs> Look at the heels. I'm doing pretty good in the heels. I have never experienced anything like this before in my life. Oh I'm my Sam's God. dad, not his mom. <laughs> it is such a pleasure to meet you. Kind of. Meeting my son's girlfriend was <laughs> so funny. I just can't believe it. She looked like a deer in the headlights. I have to say, when you uh, opened the curtains, you had a hell of a performance going on. A heck of a performance. Was it fun? I had a great time. I had a great time. I just feel great that I saw my dad absolutely come out of her shell today. <laughs> it was definitely something that I think will help Sam and I deepen our bond. Oh, Love you, Bob. Love you too, buddy. Don't get makeup on your face. Right. <laughs>